गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज डाटा हैंडलिंग सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द रेंज मीन मीडियन मोड ओके सो ऑल दीज सब टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस चैप्टर स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वन बाय वन okay see the first one the what is the meaning of data handling so the data handling deals with collection classification tabulation of data here uh in this uh, data handling it deals with the collection of data and class classification of data and uh, tabulation tabulation of data is including okay so in this uh, chapter first e here we are we are going to study about the first and that is the range okay see here <coughs> range what is the meaning of range range is the difference between highest and lowest values of a given data so range is hv i mean highest value minus lv i mean lowest value so this is the formula uh we are going to use the uh, find the range okay so regarding the range i will uh, i will solve the problems in exercise okay and the next uh, term is that mean what is the mean mean is the ratio of the sum of all the values in a data to the total number of values see students here so this is the formula what is that formula see here sum of all the observation or values okay sum of all the values divided by total number of values this one uh, shortcutly we write as a x bar uh, x bar means it is a mean is equal to sigma x see students here this is symbol or it denotes sigma sigma means what it is a sum of sigma means it is a sum of see students here so this is a symbol of sigma okay so this is a symbol of a sigma okay sigma x divided by n here sigma x means uh, sum of all the values and n means it it, it uh, indicates number of values okay students so uh, i hope all of you understood all this and next here i am going to solve the exercise so in the exercise 3.1 first problem all of you see here find the range of find the range of heights of any 10 students of your class any 10 students of your class okay students here we have to find the range of 10 students of your class okay solution solution <coughs> let us assume let assume let us assume uh heights of heights of 10 students uh students b uh see students here actually we don't know the heights that's why we have to assume here we have to um think uh, that uh, the height of 10 students uh, may be uh, first students 130 okay the height of second students may be 132 and third one 135 fourth one 137 next 139 and next 140 next 142 next 143 and next 145 and the last one it is a 148 this <coughs> this is all of here so these are the heights of the students of your class now using all these data here we have to find the range okay so what is the formula to find the range range is equal to highest value see students here here i am going to write as a shortcut here hv means highest value minus lv means it is a lowest value understood so what is the highest value in this given uh, data students uh high, what is the highest 140 it is the highest okay and what is the lowest here lowest it is a 130 understood students 
okay so range it is nothing but it is the difference between the highest value and lowest value understood so what is the range comes here it is nothing but 18 so 148 minus 30, 130 how much comes it is 18 so 18 it is the range of the, uh, all these uh, heights of 10 students okay students now let me uh, solve the next one see the second problem students solve over here that is uh, Organize the following marks in a class assessment in a tabular form. Okay, so here we have to arrange all these given marks in a tabular form. So regarding tabular form, all of you learned in the previous class students. So it includes first one that is marks, and the next it in, it includes uh, tally marks. Okay, tally marks, and next it uh, next step uh, next column is that frequency okay frequency so how many times that given data comes okay so the, regarding this so you learned in the previous class okay it again repeats in the seventh class students so marks means here uh, which is the lowest here in the given one is lowest okay write them uh, in uh, uh, one by one that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and nine like this students you write all these things okay and next here uh, one it comes how many times here one it comes uh, only one time okay one it comes only one time and here if you write the frequency as a one <coughs> okay and two it comes how many times here two it comes two times okay two times Next, here we will write the number, and here we will write in a tally marks uh, uh, form. Okay, and three comes how many times? One, okay, only one time. Okay, o only one time, and here write one. And four, four comes how many times? One, two, two, three times. Okay, one, two, three, and here you write three. And five comes how many times? Five, one, two. 2, 3, 4, 5 times, okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here you will write 5, and 6 comes how many times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, and next 7 comes how many times, 1, 1, 2, 2 times, okay, and 8 comes how many times? 8 comes how many times? See students here. 8. 8, 8, 1. Only one time. Okay. Right here. 1. And 9 comes how many times? 9. It comes 1. Only one time. Okay. Right here. 1. And here also. We yeah, have 1. And after adding all these, how, many, how much comes students? All of you see here. Add all here. N is equal to 3, 4, 4, 7, 7, 12, 12, 16, 16, 20. Okay, count one more time. 3, 4, 7, 12, 12, uh, 12 16, 18, 18, 19, 20. And here also it, it becomes same students. It becomes 20. <laughs> So now, now students here, what is the first question here, which is the highest, what is the first question you are asking me is that, which is the highest, which is the highest, it is the first question in this asking us, which is the highest value in this friends, which is the highest here, 9, okay, so what is the answer here, Answer is 9. Okay. <coughs> See the second uh, question students. All of you here. Which is the lowest? From the given uh, marks. Which one is the lowest students here? So answer is how much it is? Uh, 1 is the lowest it is. Understood. So next what is the question? What is the range of data? So range is equal to hv minus lv so this is the formula we are going to use find the range of the given data okay so hv means highest value is how much it is 9 
and what is the lowest value is here one so how much comes it is the range is eight understood students so this is the answer next to see the fourth uh, question students all of you here find the arithmetic mean so arithmetic mean or mean both are same students here mean means mean is equal to sigma f x uh, sigma x divided by n so this is the formula we are going to use to find the arithmetic mean or mean here students <coughs> sigma x means here we have to find the sum of all the given data sum of all the given data that is 4 Okay, plus six, plus seven, plus four, plus six, plus seven. See the next two sections. All of you here. What I explained before. Uh, here we have to write. Uh, here we have to find the sum of all the given data or values. Okay, like this you have to write all the given values uh, in in this way. i need so this is the sum of all the given values now how many total numbers uh, how many total values are here students so it is nothing but 20 okay if you can if you count all these uh, the sum comes as a 20 now students here we have to add all these given data okay so if we add all these uh, the sum comes as a 100 okay you may try in home so if you, if we add all these the sum comes as a 100 And is twenty right as it is. Okay, so here zero zero cancel two ones are two fives are. Okay, so what is the mean here? So the mean comes here as a five students. So here, so all these four problems they related to the second question. So what is the first question? Which is the uh, which number is the highest value or highest number? So it is nine and the second. Which is the lowest? One is the lowest, and uh, range is how much? Rate and mean is it is a five. So these are the solution for the. Uh, uh, these are the solution for the second question, students. See, students. Uh, so I hope all of you understood all these first and second question, and third and fourth both these are the homework for all of you students. third question it includes find the mean of the first five whole numbers so all of you know the whole number that is uh, first whole numbers means 0 1 2 3 4 okay so all these are the first five whole numbers and here we have to find the mean of this mean means here we have to add all these and here we have to divide this uh, sum by 5 because here we have total five values okay na 1 2 3 4 5 values and write five here And here we have to find the sum of all these. Okay, how much comes it is two uh, plus one, three, six. Okay, ten. Okay, seven. And here we have to uh, simplify this one. This is the hint for the third question. Mm -hmm. And similarly, fourth one it includes a cricketer sc uh, scores the following runs in the in eight innings. It means You have to add all these. That is fifty, fifty-eight, seventy-six, forty, thirty-five, forty-six, forty-five, zero, and hundred. You have to you have to add all these and divide the sum by eight. So both these they are the homework for all of you friends. Okay, I hope all of you understand all these. Uh, in the next uh, in the uh, in the next today I am going to solve the next problems. Thank you. Have a nice day.